Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. This is your weather content for Thursday, September 17th. God bless you today. I hope you have a great Thursday today. Uh, the, the latest update on National Hurricane Center is the disturbance one is at 90% chance now in formation of the next five days. Thunderstorm activity has continued to increase and become better organized this morning in association with a well-defined low-pressure system located over the so southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Upper-level winds are gradually becoming more conducive for development, and in this recent development trend continues, a tropical depression or a tropical storm could form later today. Not any longer this week, not later on. This is going to be today, guys. The low is expected to mender over the southwestern Gulf of Mexico for the next day or so before moving slowly northward to northeastward on Friday and Saturday. An Air Force Reserve Reconnaissance aircraft is scheduled to re investigate the disturbance this afternoon. It is at 90% high chance. Now, Sally, Tropical Storm Sally, uh, all y'all that's still in the path of it, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, for the next two days for your rainfall, the yellow is four to six inches of rain, the dark green is two to four inches, and the light green is one to two inches. As far as your flash flooding risk, you are in a moderate for the red, I'll show you this on WSV3, the yellow is slight, the marginal is 5%, but you also in, in tornado risk today. To, I'm, that's why I'm going to show you that. you got a big tornado risk. Now, here's your temperature outlook for the next seven days. You'll notice that the Midwest gets nice cool temperatures and it slowly moves to the northeast as the week goes along. I uh, wish it would move further south or to the west because those guys really can use the cool temperatures. But it is going to be nice to see something new. And it looks like we got a tornado warning. So let me go through this real quick. And I'll show you exactly what's going on with this. Let me turn this, this off. We can all see. Now, I got the storm on uh, HRR, high resolution radar for precipitation. And as it goes through the day today, it's going to be thunderstorms, heavy rainfall for South Carolina, North Carolina is going to get into it about 1, 2 p.m. And it's going to be all afternoon long. And then at the end of the evening, you're going to see it's just going to stay around North Carolina and Virginia. Now, we can only see up to 18 hours on high-resolution radar. So this is the last shot we got at 11 p.m., uh, the disturbance moving in the northeast. But if you go and you look in this red area right here, obviously we got two now. This red area right here, you have 5% chance of tornadoes today. The yellow area... It's a 2% chance for tornadoes today. Uh, let me go ahead and read these tornado warnings. They just popped up. And then I'll get on with everything else. Just give me one second. I always got to read these warnings. And it's going to be a tornado outbreak kind of tor today, if you ask me. Because this is where the end of the spin-ups will be. It'll be more, most conducive. And as it gets more towards the ocean, it actually starts pulling it. And it starts getting more power again. A tornado warning for southwestern Sumter County and central South Carolina, southeastern Richland County, and central South Carolina until 8:30 this morning. They saw a uh, they saw a, a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado near Poinsett State Park or 17 miles southwest of South Sumter. It's moving north at 25 miles per hour. Uh, this will be near Poinsett State Park around 8:10 a.m. Shaw Air Force Base, Shaw Air Base around 8:30 a.m. Other locations in, impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm could include Wedgwood, Cane Savannah, Cherryvale, and Stateburg. So take caution and take cover if you're in those areas. We also have another one. East Central Calhoun County and Central South, uh, South Carolina. Southwestern Sumter County and Central South Carolina. Southeastern Richland County and Central South Carolina until 845. They saw one near Poinsett State Park or 14 miles southeast of McIntyre Air Base, moving northwest at 15 miles an hour. Now it will be near McIntyre Air Base, Eastover, and Gadsden around 8.45 p.m. And in other areas that includes is also Fort Mott. So, so take cover if you're in that area. Be aware of these storms. Let me turn this off and put it on regular so we can see exactly what's going on with these storms on live radar. Now, the green area you see right here, this is your flash flood warnings for today. It's like it's going to be Atlanta, Warner Robin, Robins, and it's going to be moving gradually towards South Carolina. Y'all going to have these same 
uh, flash flood warnings as well as North Carolina. And just give it time. Let me see which one to use. Let me use this one. Now let's turn this on and see exactly what's going on with, with this weather. And here's your two tornadoes right now, the two tornado warnings that we have popped up. And this is your live weather of what we're looking at right now, guys. And, and please take these tornado warnings for this whole area seriously. Obviously, you can see it's going to be a thing today. It's already got two popping up in this one, and it got a whole big area all day long. So be aware, please. Take these tornadoes seriously. And God bless y'all. I hope y'all don't hope I'm not losing any power. I didn't I didn't check up on that real quick. Let me see that real quick. Because it got bad for so many people in Alabama and Florida. Florida is still 215,000 people without power. Louisiana is 51,000. Alabama is 284,000. And Georgia now is 40,000 without power. California also got 12,000 without power. But you can see where the storm's moving. You can see where the power outages are at right here in the center. Like if you look at Florida, you can see it was a western impact. See? But as far as Louisiana goes, they still feeling it from Laura. They still have that problems. And then you also have Mississippi that has uh, over 200 people still without power. So God bless all y'all without power. I know how miserable uh, that could actually be. Now normally, every morning on my morning videos, I, I, I've been following along with the Bible page by page for people that, God forbid and God forgive us, we, we're too busy, but we don't read the Bible every day. But this helps you get through and read the whole Bible. I'm going to read it all year long until it's done. Now, before Lord, uh, Sally came on, because I was doing a lot of prayer, and I was praying on live stream every 30 minutes that the thing weakened, and it did weaken, but it did strengthen back up. Got, sorry what happened to all y'all down there. But I got a little sidetracked, so I'm getting back on my stories in the morning. Not stories, but I'm getting back to the story uh, in the morning. And we are now on Genesis Six. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, the daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. And they looked and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and a creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted its way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come to before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood, room shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, the breadth of, the, of it 50 cubits, and the height of it 30 cubits. A window shalt thou make in, of the ark to the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above. And the door of the ark shalt thou set it aside thereof with lower, second, and third story shalt thou make it. And behold, I even, I, 
do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, where, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven. And everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' wives with thee. And of every living thing of all the flesh, two of every, every sort shalt thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female, of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing of the earth after his kind. Two of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee all the food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee. And it shall be for food for thee and for them. Thus did Noah, thus did Noah according to all that God commanded him, so he did. Amen. God bless you all today. Whatever y'all dealing with today, I hope God makes it better for you. Just look up to him, pray to him in your private time. And remember, if you need prayer, just get together with, with your friends and, and your enemies and, and people that are around you. Because it says in the Bible, where there's three that prays in Jesus' name, he will be there. Amen. And he don't lie. All glory goes to God. Before I go, real quick. I have videos real quick uh, from, this come from, uh, I believe it was Red. And she, she sent some pictures over of the flooding that they were dealing with from uh, when Sally came on. So remember, if y'all have some videos or pictures that you want me to see or show everybody else, just send them to the Weather Channel uh, Live.com and I will gladly take a look at them. I believe I do have another one for you yes I do so I have right here we have Taylor he sent me uh, videos of what happened with him at storm to kind of show this was before very nice beautiful <laughs> tranquil yard he's got beautiful property so as you can see before it wasn't that bad I mean they were talking about what was going on and it wasn't that bad but then when it got to uh, the evening time, and then actually did an update on what's going on. Definitely a little more consistent wind. Yeah, and it got worse for him. The rain is a little bit more so these storms were nasty, guys. And those that still have power, amen. Thank God you still have power, because I tell you what, I expected way more trees. Yeah, I expected way more trees to fall from this weather than, than I think that did because it rain soaked ground. Yeah, be careful. That's a big, bad, nasty tree back there, Taylor. Thank you for the video, my friend. I appreciate you, man. Still we love you, bro. Still have power. That is a blessing. Amen. God bless you all. Hope you have a great day. All glory does go to God.